How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I bring you one of the most important iPhone tutorials of them all. Because today I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone, reset it and then recover that backup on any iPhone that you want. And this tutorial is extremely important because it's necessary for many different scenarios. For example, if you want to buy a new iPhone, you need to do this process. If you want to sell it or give it away, same story, you need to follow those steps. And even if your iPhone has any kind of problems, issues or bugs that you can't fix, resetting it is the best way to fix any and all problems. So again, you need this tutorial. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you got to do is back up your iPhone. And with that, you're going to save all your files, your data and your information. And you'll be able to recover all of that later to any iPhone that you want. To back up your iPhone, all you got to do is tap on settings. And then you're going to tap on your name where it says Apple ID at this top banner. So tap there and then iCloud. And as you can see, you have right here iCloud backup. So tap on that and then there you have it iCloud Backup. Please keep in mind that we have two options to backup the iPhone. We can do an iCloud Backup or a computer backup. I do prefer the iCloud Backup just because it's more convenient, it's faster, it's super easy and you don't need a computer. All you need is your own iPhone. It's super fast and I do recommend this method. But of course, I'm going to talk about a computer backup as well. All right. So, in order to perform an iCloud backup, all you got to do is turn it on, is enable. As you can see, I already had it enabled, so it's green, it's on, on mine. And then all you got to do is backup now. So you can tap here on backup now, and then it'll start backing up. All you got to need to do is this. Make sure you wait, because generally this takes a while. It may take a few minutes or a few hours, depending on your internet speed. And also, I do recommend that you're connected to Wi-Fi when backing up, just because it's faster that way, all right? I'm going to cancel that backup just because I have just performed a backup before recording this video. As you can see here, last successful backup today at 4.50 p.m. So I have just done this process. I have just backed up my iPhone, so I'm updated. I have an updated backup, so that's what I want you to do, all right? So if you don't want to do an iCloud backup for any reason, maybe your Wi-Fi is low, maybe you don't have enough storage right here to back up your iPhone, you don't want to pay for iCloud Plus or anything like that, I got you covered as well because I have another video on the channel teaching you how to back up your iPhone to a computer. I'm going to put that video in this card right here and also in the description. As you probably know, computer backups are free, so you don't need to pay anything if you don't want to, all right? So, two options for backup, choose your option, but again, it's necessary that you do a backup. After you do this, after we're done with the backup, let's go ahead and talk about how to reset your iPhone. So, resetting the iPhone is also extremely easy. We don't need a computer or anything like that. We can do the whole process straight from the iPhone. All you got to do is tap on settings and then you're going to scroll down and tap on general and then scroll all the way down until you see transfer or reset iPhone, the second to last option. So transfer or reset iPhone and then the last option, the very last option, erase all content and settings. That's what we're looking for. That's how we reset the iPhone. So tap on erase all content and settings. And then you'll see that the iPhone will show you some information saying erase this iPhone and everything that you're gonna lose. It's super important that you understand this properly before we begin. When we're doing this, we're in fact resetting the iPhone, formatting the iPhone. We are doing a factory reset. So uh, when we continue, when we move forward, the iPhone will be completely erased. There will be nothing left on the iPhone. But of course, that's why we backed up the information because later we can recover all of our files or data or apps and everything either to this iPhone or to any other iPhone that we want. So that's why the backup is super necessary. So let's continue. Then let's put the passcode for this iPhone. This is the lock screen passcode, the passcode you use to unlock your iPhone. Type it in. And then, as you can see here, it's uploading data to iCloud. If you have just performed a backup like I did, 
you don't need this. You already have all the information you need, so you can just go ahead and skip backup. Again, only skip if you already have done it like I showed you, all right? Now, type in your Apple ID password. So let's continue and turn off and let it load. Sometimes it takes a while here loading. And now it's asking for a confirmation that you wanna erase iPhone. So tap on erase iPhone, let it load once again. And now it's already resetting. The iPhone is already being formatted, factory reset. And now it's just a matter of waiting. Generally, it just takes a few minutes, like a couple minutes, it's super fast, so just wait. And so, we're done. As you can see here, the hello screen, meaning that the iPhone has reset, it's perfect. Uh, we have just finished resetting it, it was successful, and it literally just took a minute. So, if you're actually selling this iPhone to somebody or giving it away, that's all you need to do. You're done with this device you can already give it away to the person because this iPhone doesn't have any of your information anymore. All of your files, your data, your apps, nothing is here anymore, all right? It's completely blank and uh, your Apple ID is not here anymore. There's no activation lock, nothing. So this iPhone is factory reset. You can give it to the buyer or to the person you're giving it away to. And now let's move on to the final part of the video, which is recovering the backup that we have just created. Let's recover all of our files, data, apps, and information from that backup that we have just done. And as I said, you can do this on any iPhone that you want, all right? All you need is the iPhone to be on this screen, on the hello screen, and then you can recover it from the backup. Let's swipe up and then you can select your language, of course, English, your country. I'm gonna put Brazil because I'm in Brazil right now. Um, I'm gonna do it manually. Then I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network. You can do this over 4G or 5G as well, but for the backup, it's important that you are connected to Wi-Fi. So I do recommend that you connect to a Wi-Fi network. So tap on next. Then it says it's gonna take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Generally, it's just a few seconds. Now, data and privacy, tap on continue. Face ID, of course, in your case, you wanna continue. I'm gonna set up later just to make it faster, right? So set up later. Here, you're gonna create a passcode. So create a secure passcode for you. Re-enter your passcode. Then it's gonna start loading, as you can see right there. And here is where we can recover the backup. This is the important screen where it says apps and data. Right here, you're gonna select the option restore sorry restore from iCloud backup the first option all right first option right there naturally you're gonna need to type in your Apple ID so Apple can identify and find your backup tap on next then type in your password and then tap on next once again let it load if you have to set verification it'll ask you to verify your iPhone with your other Apple devices. Let it verify, and then once again, it'll say it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID, but again, it's super fast, so agree on terms and conditions. Let it do its thing. And as you can see here, those are my backups. So I have here latest backup for this iPhone and other backups. And naturally, this is what we want, the latest backup for this iPhone. It's in here, Daniel's iPhone 13 Pro Max, this iPhone. And the time today at 12.58. The time is a little bit off just because the iPhone hasn't updated the time correctly just yet. It's in here, it's 1.17 p.m. where now it's actually 6.17. So that's why the time is a little bit off. But what it says here midday is actually the one that I did at 4 p.m. that I showed you a couple minutes ago. So that's the one, the one I did today. So I can tap here on today, let it load, and then make this your new iPhone. It's saying all of the information and data it's gonna pull from that backup. That's what we want. So continue. You don't need to customize or anything. Just tap on continue. If you have cards on your Apple Pay, it's gonna ask you to verify. Once again, I'm just gonna set up later just to make this faster for us. And then restore from iCloud. And as you can see here, there's our time remaining and there's a progress bar right there. And so it'll restart once again. Now already with my wallpaper, as you can see, 
And all I have to do is swipe up. I'm gonna put my passcode and then restore completed, as you guys can see. So all my information is already here on my iPhone. I can tap on continue. Again, it's asking for face ID. I'm gonna set up later. Agree, agree once again. We're almost done. It's gonna ask about improved Siri and dictation, not now. And then welcome to iPhone. If I swap up, as you can see, my iPhone is back with all of my information. Emails are already coming, as you guys can see right there. Over 60 new mail. Uh, and all my apps are here. They're being downloaded automatically, as you can see. I don't have to do absolutely anything and all my information is back. So that's it and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye bye.